In this video, we're going to have a look at an example of inverse variation and just to contrast it with direct variation. So if you've watched one of the videos on direct variation, the equation that models that uh, follows the form uh, y equals kx, where k is the constant of variation. Inverse variation sort of works on a similar principle, in a similar way, um, but the form of the equation is a little bit different. So it uh, follows a, a curve called a hyperbola, actually. So if you've done graphs and then you know what a hyperbola is, you know the sort of shape that it takes. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at um, this example. So the time it takes to mow a field varies inversely with the number of people mowing the field. Now that makes sense, or at least assuming all things, you know, sort of uh, ideal, um, the more people you put onto a job, the less time it should take. So the greater the number of people, say double the number of people, it should halve the amount of time it takes, in theory, anyway. So in this particular example, it takes three people five hours to mow the field. So logic will tell you then that if you double the number of people, say if you put uh, six people on the job, it should uh, take two and a half hours, uh, in theory. So part A, how long to the nearest minute will it take eight people to mow the field? So clearly we're putting more people on the job we are expecting an answer that's going to be less than five hours. Okay, so we're not assuming here that they're taking breaks and spending half the time chatting to each other and doing nothing. You know, we're, we're they're working, mowing this lawn. So assuming ideal conditions. All right, so first of all, what we'll do is that let's set up our variation equation. So this is inverse variation, and it's going to look like this. Okay, y equals k over x. So uh, and I mentioned uh, hyperbolas before, you, you, you graph this, uh, k is a constant, obviously you know, so it doesn't make sense for it to be um, uh, zero. Um, so k is a constant, um, as x gets larger, uh, y gets smaller, x gets smaller, uh, as in x approaches zero, um, y gets larger. So we're assuming you know, x is positive as well, so we're not using any sort of negative uh, number of people. Okay, so. What we'll do is that we'll, uh, let's choose some uh, appropriate um, pronumerals. So for time, why don't we use uh, T and the number of uh, people, uh, let's use P. So time depends on the number of people. So time is equal to this constant K, the, the constant of, of variation or the constant of proportionality over the number of people. So that's P. Okay, so I guess the first step we need to find the value of k, so this constant. Now we need some further information. We know that it uh, takes three people five hours to, to mow the lawn. So moving on so to the next little bit of working out. Uh, five hours okay, is equal to k over the number of people. And this allows us then to find this very special value, this constant, okay, this constant of variation. Okay. So moving on sort of to the next line. So I'm doing this sort of to save a bit of space here. Um, so K uh, is equal to five times three. Okay. So K equals uh, 15. So therefore, okay, the variation equation is okay, uh, T is equal to 15 over P. Okay. So we can now answer this question directly. How long to the nearest minute will it take eight people to mow the field? So we'll just substitute eight here for P. So when um, P is equal to eight, okay, T is equal to 15 over eight, and that's uh, T's in hours. So, okay, hopefully you can see that. Yep, so 15 uh, over eight, press equals, sort of 1.875 hours, uh, press the degrees, minutes, seconds button, and we get um, one hour, uh, 52 minutes, or 53, we round it up, because of the 30 seconds here. Uh, so, therefore T is equal to one hour and 53 minutes to mow this lawn, okay? Or to mow this field, okay? No, don't know how big the field is, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have more than enough information to be able to answer this question. So let's have a look at it. There's a second part to this. So I might just place this board there because I've run out of space on the first board. So part B, the field uh, needs to be mown in less than three hours 
uh, in time for an event. So determine the minimum number of people required to have the field mown in less than that time, in less than three hours. Okay, so uh, that's sort of use the equation. We have to sort of uh, use the equation to the converse of that and uh, maybe rearrange it. So let's see, we had T is equal to 15 over P. Okay, we're trying to find this P, the number of people. Now, a bit of a hint, um, P's got to be a whole number. Now, we're not talking about, you know, 1.8 people here. It's a, it's a whole number of people. Now, we know that T, really, we, we need it to be, you know, um, three hours or, or less than three hours, in fact. So, why don't we solve this particular equation? So, just bear with me for a moment. So, let's say T is three hours. How many people would it take to mow it in exactly three hours? And, in fact, uh, this one uh, may actually work out nicely. We're not going to get decimal answers. Um, we have uh, rearranging this equation. Okay, so 3p is equal to 15. So moving p to the other side. Okay, you could do it all in one step if you wanted to, but I'm just sort of showing the extra steps here for, for those that would like a little bit um, more guidance with the algebra. Um, so that's equal to um, 5, in fact. Okay, so now, is that the correct answer? Because five people will mow this field in exactly three hours. That answer is in fact incorrect. Well, I haven't finished the question yet. I haven't finished the solution, sorry. It says less than three hours. Five people will mow it in exactly three hours. Now, three hours is not less than three. Three is equal to three. So, in actual fact, um, we need one more person to get the time in mowing this field to be less than three, not equal to three. Now, there's a subtle difference there, but it's, it's significant enough that we need to take note of that. So, uh, so five people will mow the field in three hours. Hence, we need six people. Minimum. You can obviously put you know, seven, eight, nine. You can put fifty people if you like, but we we want the minimum um, number of people. So, so three hours. Hence, we need six people minimum. Okay, to mow the field in less than three hours. Okay, and just to sort of satisfy ourselves, if we had six people, um, how long would it take? So let's uh, use the formula again. So it's uh, T equals 15 over P. Okay, so 15 over the number of people. So we have six people, okay, kind of about 5.5 people. Six people, five on two, two and a half hours. So six people will mow the field in two and a half hours. We don't have to put on, you know, any more than six. That'll um, satisfy the conditions given here.